Introduction to Arguments in Critical Thinking and Informal Logic. Arguments in critical thinking or informal logic are not spats, fights, or disagreements. They're just a group of sentences, one of which is the conclusion, and the rest your reasons for thinking the conclusion to be true. So the definition is pretty simple. Properties of arguments? In general, a good argument is one that would convince a rational thinker. Good arguments in addition, don't use fallacies. We'll be covering the notion of a fallacy shortly. So an argument is a premise or a set of premises plus a conclusion. The definition is, of course, quite simple. The premises are reasons for accepting or rejecting a conclusion, and the conclusion is the thesis you're attempting to persuade someone of for whatever reason. So an argument is just a set of reasons plus a conclusion. So here's an example of an argument. You are watching your computer screen right now. My presentation is playing on your computer screen. Therefore, you're watching my presentation. How convincing is that? The first two sentences are premises. You're watching your computer screen right now, and my presentation is playing on your computer screen. Therefore, you're watching my presentation. This is the conclusion or the thesis. What makes it the conclusion or the thesis? The fact that this is exactly what the argument is meant to persuade someone of. So the first sentence constitutes the first reason for accepting the conclusion. The second sentence is the second reason for accepting the conclusion. And the third sentence is just the conclusion and the thesis. Is it a convincing argument? Well. You tell me. Is it persuasive? Do the premises give you good reasons to think that you're watching my presentation? Which is the conclusion. If so, then it's a good or strong argument, a convincing one. 